हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल इन दिस वीडियो विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट नेक्स्ट कार्डिक एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑफ एम्फीबियन फिजोलॉजी सो दैट इज प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ कार्डिक मसल सो विल बी डूइंग एक्साइटेबिलिटी प्रॉपर्टी एंड ऑटोरेदमेसिटी प्रॉपर्टीज दैट द टिश्यू इज एबल टू जनरेट इट्स ऑन रिदम दैट इज एक्साइटेबिलिटी एंड दैट मेंटेन दैट रिदम ऑफ एक्साइटेबिलिटी ऑफ जनरेटिंग रिदम with a regular interval is autorhythmicity so we these both have been explained by normal cardiogram which we have covered in last video here we'll be talking about some more properties uh, so the first property is extra systole okay extra systole compensatory pause and refractory period so basically the scientist have studies all these experiment on frog and then the concept came in our books as muscle physiology okay so we have now we we are uh, reading skeletal muscle cardiac muscle and uh, smooth muscle all the properties have been you know worked out on the animals and then the concept came in books so they helped us actually understood all the muscle physiology properties right so let us see what is refractory period so how what was the experimental setup how they tried actually to understand this concept that we have to understand here so first is refractory period so when stimulus falls during systole there is no response in the muscle uh, so side by side uh, we have to also understand which type of graph can be given uh, to us related to this property okay so uh, basically uh, they have re-stimulated a tissue during normal cardiogram say this is normal cardiogram okay during normal cardiogram if what we if uh, we again stimulate uh, say uh, here we stimulated uh, some tissue so we have to understand here uh, that stimulus is obviously falling in some phases of the sti the response going on right so the contraction phase the relaxation phase so uh, sometime during systole if we stimulate what happens during diastole we stimulate what happens so that we have to understand we have also done um, one experiment if you remember the effect of second stimulus on a simple muscle twitch but here it will not be beneficial effect since we are giving so uh, much time actually during systole if we stimulate what is the response during diastole uh, what is the response if it uh, if uh, this cardiac muscle is same as skeletal muscle or not okay so uh, we know that cardiac muscle is having very different properties than skeletal muscle so in starting how the concept came is that this experiment so they actually gave, gave they gave one more stimulus which was falling during systole okay so during systole if this tissue is stimulated there was no change in response the normal cardiogram continues okay so that's how they told that during systole the muscle is in refractory period the muscle is refractory to any stimulus okay and here the action potential of cardiac muscle is very long and that's why we have long refractory period in cardiac muscle and that's why we know that cardiac muscle can't be tetanized okay skeletal muscle can be tetanized easily right because of small action potential and hence small refractory period right okay so this first uh, concept is if we stimulate the tissue during systole this muscle uh, show no change uh, so because of refractory period then what if if we stimulate again during diastole so new normal cardiogram is going on and during diastole if we give a stimulus so, okay so a uh, stimulus marker will be there here and if we give during systole if we give say yaha here so here if we stimulated the tissue this one is your during systole and if during this point we have stimulated the tissue this is your diastole so i am not talking about that this these both the stimulants are given simultaneously just to make you understand what i am saying so during systole if the tissue is stimulated what happens basically this was relaxing and we have given a extra stimulus okay so because of this extra stimulus since the muscle is not in uh, absolute refractory period so the muscle undergo one more contraction and that is your extra systole okay 
so the first concept of extra systole should be clear to you that if a mus a stimulus is given when the muscle is relaxing during relaxation period during diastole the muscle undergo contraction again okay so this is called extra systole now this muscle is contracting and then it is relaxing so if this is uh, your uh, because of pacemaker this is stimulus because of pacemaker and this is stimulus because of pacemaker so this should be stimulus because of pacemaker now can you see uh, here we have given extra systole extra stimulus right so this muscle is relaxing now so now this muscle is in refractory period for some time that's why this muscle is refractory for this stimulus okay so this stimulus because of this stimulus there will not be any response fine why the muscle is refractory muscle is in refractory period uh, because of this extra stimulus okay now since we don't have a stimulation again for some duration that's why the muscle undergo a pause because the muscle is in refractory period that's why the muscle undergo a pause and which the pause is called compensatory pause okay so you can be asked in your exam what is extra systole when we give stimulus in diastole the muscle undergo a contraction again systole again that is your extra systole and because of extra systole the muscle undergo in refractory period again that's why there is a pause before uh the other contraction that is your compensatory pose now i hope the point is clear to you so the heart contracts immediately because of extra uh, stimulus this extra contraction is called extra systole because of extra systole the muscle is refractory to next stimulus so it undergoes a pause which is called compensatory pause okay so this is about the second property extra systole compensatory pause and refractory period next is your all or none law which we read in cardiac muscle so on stimulation the heart either gives no contraction if it contracts it contracts to its maximum ability so how the graph look like so with every contraction you can be seen in marker that this is stimulus with every stimulus there is a contraction of same amplitude so if Uh, on stimulation either heart gives no response or the response to its maximal so all the amplitude are same fully uh, contract this muscle is basically fully contracting okay this is uh, all or none law next is your staircase phenomena staircase phenomena is when successive uh, stimulation are given and there is increase in first few contraction showing beneficial effect that is your staircase phenomena we have seen here that th these are the stimulus given and with every stimulus the response is increasing force of contraction and which resembles like a staircase okay the same beneficial effect we have read in skeletal muscle so uh, you must be wondering then how then all or none law can be followed if this is happening right because here we are giving enough time to relax the muscle after so the rhythm is such that that we have sufficient time to relax the muscle but here we don't have time it's a few millisecond Uh, time is given in between and that's why they are basically submitted with each other and then there is beneficial effect being shown right so last uh, uh, property is summation of sub threshold stimulus so what that mean when multiple stimuli of sub threshold intensity are applied sub threshold which are not able to elicit any response mind it okay so if those uh, stimuli in large number are given okay one by one applied because of that summation of stimuli they can elicit a response so previously they were not able to elicit any response that's why we call them sub threshold stimuli but if they are given in many number then they summit actually to make a sufficient stimulus to uh, to basically give a response so that is that property is summation of sub threshold stimulus okay one more property which uh, the scientist have studied here is heart block okay heart block which they achieved via strenuous ligature 
हार्ट ब्लॉक मीन्स दे हैव टू डू कंडक्शन ब्लॉक दे हैव टू ब्लॉक द कंडक्शन पाथवे सो वी हैव रेड दैट साइनस वेनोस हैविंग द पेस मेकर दैट इम्पल्स ट्रैवल टू एट्रिया एंड देन फ्रॉम एट्रिया द इम्पल्स ट्रैवल टू वेंट्रिकल सो हाउ वी कैन ब्लॉक दीज कंडक्शन वाया दीज टू ट्रैक्ट सो हेयर इफ वी ब्लॉक दैट इज योर फर्स्ट टेनिस लाइगेचर सो फ्रॉम साइनस वेनोस टिल एट्रिया जंक्शन हेयर इफ वी टाई दिस इज फर्स्ट साइनस लाइगेचर and from atria to ventricle if we want to block from atria to ventricle if we want to block here is the second stenius ligature so these two things they have done and so the response so first stenius ligature is showing the conduction block between sinus venosa and atria okay so response is basically this is normal cardiogram and when they tied the thread at first stenius ligature point there is the heart beating stops the conduction block occur because of that heart beating stop but after some time there is a rhythm which starts but this is at less uh, frequency if you can see so the heart beat stop and after some time the atrial beat beating start so you are actually blocking the sinus venosa then atria comes into play and takes that role being pacemaker right it starts beating atria so this is your atrial rhythm what if you again tie this thread so you are blocking the atria now okay so what is the response after second ligature again heart be sto heart uh, stops beating and after some time further less frequent rhythm comes into play and obviously now i think you should know what who will be playing this that is your ventricle okay so because of ventricle the rhythm starts so second ligature is between atria and ventricle heart stop beating and that rhythm which is further less frequent is idioventricular rhythm which is because of ventricles okay so that's all about properties of cardiac muscle which we can be asked in your exam in amphibian physiology i hope the point is clear to you you can ask any question in comment box thank you so much for watching